Mark, and we're going to discuss the new Benmi's Armature Kits. And these Armature Kits use wire, and uh, in the kit you'll get a 24 foot spool of 1 16th inch gauge wire, as well as a small spool of 1 millimeter wire. And as you can see, this puppet here is what I've uh, used as a guideline to design the character. And so the head is the same size, and all these parts will fit within the puppet and this kind of configuration for a clay puppet. Okay, the first thing we'll discuss is this skull. As you can see here, it's pretty big. Uh, we've got some Delrin balls in here and they're 5 16 inch uh, in diameter. And you can insert a tool, like this sculpting tool, inside there and you can rotate it. This allows you to animate the eyes and they're in there really strong so they won't fall out. Uh, there's a lot of holes all over it. These are meant for the wire that comes with your kit. Now if any hole does not accept the wire like this one, unfortunately due to shrinkage during the printing process, because these are all 3D printed, some holes will be accept the, hole, uh, the wire really well and others won't. So if one of them doesn't, you just want to take a 1 16th inch drill bit and you can just drill out those parts. And it doesn't take a lot of force. You want to drill very slowly so you don't melt the plastic. And you see that your wire fits in there just perfectly. So these holes here are meant for hair or for adhering hats or uh, any sort of armor or anything you can think of for your character. Two square holes, one here and one on the underside. This is meant for square brass tubing. So if you want to take your square brass tubing you can take a nail or something and put it into your into a piece of wood and this way you can take your your head and set it down like this and sculpt on it and then when you want to use it for animation you can take it off your stand and you can apply it to your armature you want to also make sure that you drill out the holes on the underside for the jaw now if you're going to use uh, the wire and you want to handle it you want to make sure that you cover your pliers in some painter's tape so that you don't ding the wire. If there's any sort of scratch on your wire, unfortunately it will break very easily. But if you do this properly, the wire really won't break at all for a very long time. So, for example, we want to use a loop of wire. And uh, I've got some wire cutters. So I'm going to cut the wire here. And I want to insert that into this here, into the jaw. So I want to use my fingers as much as possible. Okay, so uh, once you've got your smaller diameter wire in here for your tongue, you want to take your 1 16th inch gauge wire and you want to insert it into the skull. Like this. And make sure it's pushed in there nice and tight all the way. There we go. What I suggest after you get the wire all the way through the jaw and into the skull is to put some hot glue on the underside of the wire here and on the part of the skull here where it connects. That will allow you to take the jaw off later if you want to and it won't be permanent. Here you want to trim your wire pieces like this on both sides. Now if you want to adjust this wire, make sure you do so with some uh, pliers that are covered with tape. You don't want to scratch your wire. And we could, uh, we could adjust these, we can sort of hammer them in there a little bit deeper. Or we could, you know, grab them from here. Uh, if you want your character's jaw to uh, maybe have an underbite or anything like that, you want to make this wire a tad bit longer. And that way you can sort of adjust things either further back or, or forward. Okay, so for the toes, again, you want to make sure that you drill out the holes, which are 1 16th inch in diameter. So make sure you drill them out, but don't drill them too far. And go very slowly. Again, can't really stress that enough. And uh, the way that you tie these down is with the tie downs that come with the armature kit. So you get two, uh, two tie downs. Now you go underneath here and you push your your bolt up through the set 
and uh, this would be on the underside and you can tighten your foot down with this little wing nut and that would be what secures your puppet to the floor so if, if you don't really want to do that and maybe you want to come down from above we have the option for wood screws and uh, so from above you can just come and insert your wood screw here and you can see how that groove will hold it in place and finally if you have a styrofoam set floor you have these uh, these needles here which you can use believe it or not to push through the holes that are in the side of the foot here 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 and here so that basically allows you to uh, nail your foot down using those pins okay so here are the small hands that we've got in the kit and these have a whole bunch of holes in there and each hole allows you to either use your one millimeter wire here or one sixteenth inch gauge wire as well so if you want um, you'll probably have to drill these a little bit larger with your one sixteenth inch drill bit because they're very snug when I print these and also there's three holes in the palm that extend out through the back of the hand these holes allow you to insert a piece of wire and on this wire you can um, adhere a prop like a ball or a knife or a gun or a you know a box or whatever it is that you're trying to have your puppet hold okay so if you're gonna attach these hands to your armature uh, there's a, a piece here that comes with the kit two of them that are the wrists and so this here will go over a piece of wire that has two strands and the wrist area has only one strand of wire that goes through like this now of course the gap here is really large but that's how these work so here's the shoulder block and you can see there's two nuts inside here and these correspond to uh, using our flying rig so if you want to make your character jump or fly uh, there's a special rig connector that goes in the back and uses some small bolts and attaches it to your rig so your neck and your your shoulders come out of these three top pieces and the one thing that I want to talk about with this piece is that in the center of this hole in the center hole where the spine is we're going to use three pieces of wire that transition into two pieces of wire out the top for the neck of your puppet so to do that what we want to do is we want to take our wire and we're going to twist it up using uh, a pair of pliers on one end here like this and then on the other end we want to take our drill and we want to put it in the chuck and we want to twist it up so we'll let the drill do the twisting and it's a lot faster that way so using our pliers we're going to take one strand off of our three strands of wire here. Now I'm going to use my fingers and just untwist this one strand. Okay. So we got a few inches of two strands of wire here and the rest is three strands. Now I'm going to cut that off like this. And I'm going to bring that together again okay so we're going to push it through and we want to make this come down to where the three strands are about in the center okay so that's how we transition from the spine to the neck okay so once we've uh, we've put all our parts together we put the wire through all our uh, tubes and in the ankles and in the feet and the arms and in the jaw uh, now these haven't been glued together or epoxied, but what we're going to use, we're going to use any five minute epoxy that you can get in any hardware store, kind of like this. This is a lock Loctite epoxy, it's five minutes as you can see on the front. And in order to epoxy these, you want to epoxy just the lower body first, wait for that to cure, and then you want to do the upper body next then the last thing you want to do is put the head on there with the jaw and that's so that uh, this part will be stable and be able to support 
the next part, which is the upper body, and then of course, once that's stable, you can support the rest. So that's the best way to epoxy it. And also with the fingers, I'm gonna use this one millimeter wire, and you can see I've bent the tips over. So if you use this in any kind of a puppet, which uses silicone or foam latex, um, the ends of the wire won't break through the fingertips. Also, if you use clay on this armature, um, keep in mind that you don't need to have any wire inside the fingers for clay because clay is strong enough to hold itself up. So we're going to epoxy this now and put it together and see how it turns out. Okay, so here's the final puppet. And so all the parts have been epoxy together with our epoxy. Um, we've got some spare wire left over. We've got our little tie downs. And uh, all the parts can be animated and posed however you need them to be. Um, so we've got his little jaw. We've got his eyebrows here, which I just put in some 1 16th inch gauge wire into the hole so it can bend up and down. Uh, we've got the fingers, we've got the wrists elbows, the shoulders, uh, the spine, and the toes also. We can, I can show you how these will support the weight of the puppet with the tie downs. So you can see how you can bend the, the, uh, the toe joints and it supports the entire weight of the puppet even at a very steep angle like this. Believe it or not, uh, these armatures, the wire won't break uh, quickly at all and since you have three strands of wire in the legs in the spine and two strands for the arms it's basically a built-in redundancy so if one wire does snap for some reason it'll uh, you'll have one more wire there left over so that pretty much covers everything with these armature kits if you have any questions about them and you want to know more uh, just let me know my name is Mark and I'll answer your questions